Data is one of those really frustrating things in motorsport where the learning curve and even the cost of entry is really quite high. Is it even worth it? And how can it really help you with your own driving? After all, all you want to do is go around the track quicker. So how can looking at numbers and squiggly lines on a chart actually help you translate that into racing performance, actually working out how to go quicker? Ultimately, all you want to do is approach each corner with a plan and know exactly what you're trying to do for each corner. How, how's data really going to help you with that? So the idea with this video is to share my experience of using a bit of data in uh, a sim racing environment, actually. But it could be a normal racing environment. I'm just using a sim racing setup just to show you. And the reason I'm using it is because you have this, uh, I've got this ability to have the telemetry, like the live data produced as I'm driving around. And what I've found is this really helps rather than just presenting a whole page of squiggly lines with your historic data. You can actually see in this video the data being described, all those squiggly lines being described as I'm actually driving around the track. I'm going to drive three laps, three, three, four laps, and you can see on each lap how my performance compares to uh, the best lap I do. And you can also start to think, right, okay, in no way, whilst I do have a fastest lap, in no way was the fastest lap the best combination of all of the uh, parts in even this small four lap session. It's, it also highlights a couple of areas where I was confused. I thought I'd, I lost it a bit in one of these, one of the corners and I didn't actually lose any time. You can see that in the data, but in my head, I thought I had. So what this is helping me to do is, is really just get clarity about, okay, what works and what doesn't work with my driving. So that the next time I go out, I can have a plan and, and stick to it and go, yeah, actually, I, I, you know, I know when I've done well, I know exactly what I'm trying to do. I know what's going to work and I know what's not going to work. Or, you know, on some of the, some of the high speed corners here, you'll see it's like, does it really make a difference? Actually, yeah, it does. Or no, actually, that didn't make too much of a difference on my overall fastest lap. So really, I can dial down the risk because it's not costing me too much time. Before, without the data, you're always sort of trying to go 10 tenths all the time, hanging it out. And it's really massively increasing the risk factor. With data, you're, you're, my hope is that you're going to be able to go faster and more consistent and, and more consistently and more reliably without it, it being this sort of dramatic uh, event the whole time. So what this is what you're going to see when I take you through the video. And so just before, just to explain it to you, um, you've got me sitting uh, on my sim rig, <laughs> such as it is, on a PlayStation playing Project Cars 2. And so you've got, I've just got my telly here. And this is all the stuff that you'd normally see in the game. On the top right, you've got the track map. Uh, this big dot is where I am. And you'll see this moving around the track so you can like start to get some idea for the corners this one here um where it says blue is faster red is faster so this is the the lap delta and so basically this squiggly line here is comparing what i'm doing live to my best lap in the session so when um, it's above the line like it is here i'm slower than i was before and when it's below the line like it is here, I'm faster on this lap than I have been before. But what's really interesting, what's really important to look at, isn't necessarily whether the line is above or below, but what we're looking for is whether the line is going up like, or, or going down. So for example, you can see here at this point, so I was actually a bit slower, but for some reason, the line gradually reduces down. So I'm actually a bit quicker. So these are the kind of things that you're kind of looking for. So that not only whether you're up or down, but like what caused that to go down? And, in, and equally this, this side here, you can see I was up here. Yes, I was faster, but something's happened at this point of the track, which meant the line is now going up. And these are the kind of things that we're going to try and look at in the video. So it's not only whether the line is above or below, but it's also whether it's getting more up or more down 
And by, by looking at that, so this is a great example here. As you can see, I was actually quite a bit slower at this point, but something's happened and I was able to pick up all this time. Can you see? It's just getting quicker and quicker and quicker and quicker and quicker until I'm below the line. So I'm below the line quicker here, but the actual, something's happened over, up this end, right? And so we'll look at that and you'll be able to see that because you'll be able to see my driving and you'll be able to, you know, see me, whatever it is I do. The other line below is the speed channel. So this is like how fast I'm driving. Um, the, there are two lines here. Uh, the one I've shown you is is uh, like they're pretty close to each other. So that's why you can only just see them. On the first lap, you'll see it more clearly that there's a there's definitely two lines going on. So the um, the blue line is basically my best lap. And then the red line will be drawn live during the session and you can see exactly you know what speed I'm doing and the, the why I thought this is really powerful is because we get presented with something like this at the end normally and you think well I can't really understand it but when you can see it drawn live I think the light bulb moment goes on and I really hope it does for you as well so each moment around the track you can see how fast I'm going and you can see whether I'm gaining or losing time on my fastest lap you see where I am. You can also see, you know, how I'm steering and uh, the throttle and such like, and, and and such like. So you can, you know, you can judge my driving. I, I'm not the best driver, <laughs> not the best driver in the world. But the point, that's not really the point. The point is to help you be able to do this for yourself and you to make a judgment about whether or not this is actually worth bothering with. Okay, so let's get into it. Coming into turn one, see a little bit of a kink there. You can see here straight away losing a lot of time over the fastest lap. The tire squeal, still good exit. And look, so you can now, so this is she's now going down. You can see, hopefully, that it's quicker. Well, it's not a massive amount quicker. Oh, bit of a, a bit of a wobble there, a bit of a wobble. Caught it, look, and you can see immediately losing time against my fastest. And look, all this area here, this is the the speed trace. Big difference, right. Pick a spot, boom. Oh, up on two wheels. Boom, and slow again. Right, in fact, this is so slow, this lap, it actually ends up, this curve ends up coming up here. Because in fact, it's all on one screen. I've just done a, a zoom in, but you can see, look, look how, how much there, it's like lower. So the acceleration is the same because it started off lower down here. It's just taking a, it just you just can't get it back. So here we go. So this is this is quite good. So it's actually frozen up now. But you can see I didn't actually lose a whole load of time there. Right into this last corner. Pick a good spot. I know it's not a great lap this one. So early on the throttle. Actually, that was pretty good. Look at this. Look, that's actually quicker than my fastest lap. That. So I've caught back a little bit of time. Right here we go. Into the main lap. Nicely on into turn one. It's just really uns unsure what to do there. It's the cars bouncing around, and I don't really know. Okay, so into here, pick a spot. From turning from the middle because the camber sends me out wide. I missed the apex there, but early on the throttle so that was good you can see in the delta it's just we're just a little bit quicker than the fastest lap and i can see that on the screen next to me so we go so coming in hard on the brakes boom 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 right okay into here how's that looking that's looking pretty good so i'm quicker now than my fastest lap even though the exit was rubbish at that corner so there's more potential there Nice and steady, not on two wheels this time. That's a big corner on that inside curb, so I want to avoid. And look, I've lost a bit of time there. That hesitation, you saw that hesitation? That's what cost me. And it's cost me all the way down this straight. So nice apex on the entry into the little, I don't know what this, this part's called. And early on the throttle and wow. Okay, so that was really good as an exit compared to my fast lap. And I can see I'm now coming all the way down here 
and again get a little bit exit and I'm I'm, I'm up all the way so, Right, that was nice through there. Again, probably missed the second apex, but okay. So we're on the pick a breaking point. Nice. Okay, that was good. Onto the spot. Nearly lost it. Chat limits. People would be upset. I'd have a photo probably. But there you go. Boom. So that's at forty-eight two seven. So not perfect lap, but that's still pretty quick. You know, my quickest lap. And you can see at various other points, it was slower than my fastest lap. So what we're trying to do is just put this puzzle together the whole time, okay? So into the next lap, a bit wide there, but look, quicker. It was quicker, it was worth it. It was worth going on there. So this is like the quality line, maybe. Coming in here. Whoa, keep the flat, keep the flat right. Oh, I missed the apex, missed the apex on the entry, but look, I'm up. Is that, that green there, is that's what you're seeing here? Yeah, the only difference is I'm getting this all the way around. With those other things, you're only getting it at three times in a sector. Okay, nice through through there. So I'm up, I'm up like about half a second here at the moment on that other lap. So let's see what, see what this one ends up being like. Oh, I overslowed it a bit there. Yeah, and you can see, missed the apex, oh, right, and now, oh, it's cost me, look, can you see this, the delta's climbing, it's climbing, it's climbing, look, I was so, I was up, probably half a second, it still thinks I'm up, overall, but we know that I'm losing time, so, get it, get it hooked up here, oh, just, look, just that little kink on the exit, it's cost me, and again, all the way down here, What's happened here? Oh, pretty wide. It felt okay, but it was slower. That's so what's this for? 48.4. So, in actual fact, we were actually ahead. We we're in the 47s, really, and, look, and we just lost it at the end there. So, this is what this is what the data can tell you because you can go back and you can relive this. Go, oh, okay, yeah, I, 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 I understand what I'm doing. Right, into here. So, I think that, that was nowhere near the apex, but it's actually quicker. The end result is actually quicker if you look. Because I'm on the throttle earlier, all the way down here. What happens here? Oh, 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 doesn't feel like good, but it's still quicker. That's still quicker than before. Nice apex. Now look, it thinks I'm slower. The red thing thinks I'm slower, and that's because it's taken it just on the exit of the corner. So I was up. But in my head, I'm thinking I've lost it in that high speed corner, but I haven't. I've lost it on the exit of the hairpin. Okay, and now look at that. Hang on, let's just let's just roll back. Let's roll back to that exit there. So I'm I'm still thinking about this. I'm slower, and I thought I was quicker. And now I'll come in here. That feels really slow. That felt slower than I've ever done it. And look, but look, it's it's faster. It's it's like half a second faster than before. Totally counterintuitive. So much so that I miss my braking point and <laughs> end up all losing all that time gains because I was like, what? Because the braking point should have been there because I was going that much quicker. So here we go, and you can see that. You can see that in the line here, in the speed line. So here we go, into this final corner. Oh, too, too greedy on the entry too greedy on the entry and look and look what's happened that greedy entry I got round it but it looks cost me all the way around the corner nice oh and now track limits proper track limits that time it was always coming so there you go what do you think was it worth it is it worth it can you see how it can help you I just think it's so fascinating to be able to piece together each of those little components and yes, I was doing it live here and you can see you know, the, the traces and that's quite powerful. And I've obviously got the laptop next to me, uh, which I can you know, occasionally sort of take a glance at uh, when I'm going round. But the point being is that you can, uh, you can start to see how, right, okay, when I'm you know, not driving round and looking at the data in a sort of calm, 
collected fashion, you can sort of see, okay, yeah, this now means something. These squiggly lines now mean something in terms of how I'm driving. I've, I've had all the same experiences that you get without driving. So you, you feel like you're driving, oh, I feel that was quicker. But now you've got the evidence for it as well. And you can actually sort of say, actually, yeah, there's no doubt that was quicker. That chicane, I'm staggered still. Like half a second and I felt I felt that was the slowest I'd ever gone around it, to be quite honest with you. And if it wasn't for the data, I'd be dismissing that as a as a way to get around that corner. Uh as as going, well, that's there's no point at all. And and yet the data, the numbers show me that that was faster. Not only is it faster, it's actually safer and I'm not, you know, flying around. So that is really all I'm trying to communicate with this video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, please subscribe uh, for the, to be the first to know about the new ones and visit the website at yourdatadriven.com uh, for more motor racing resources and lots of help to try and make you go faster. Bye for now.